Hi, I'm Veronica Bellino and I play soul tone cymbals. I have played with artists such as Richie Sambora, Orianti, Jeff Beck, DMC, um, and currently I play with a band called Life of Agony. I'm really excited to play with this band. I've been friends with the guitar player for a couple years and uh, he called me about this opportunity, so naturally I said yes. And uh, our first shows start in April, so I'm really excited. I first discovered soul tone cymbals at NAMM. I think I was around 19 or 20 years old. I remember walking by the booth. You know, the cymbals were like really nice and bright and like clean. And I thought the logo was cool. The name was cool, soul tone, you know, I liked it. So I just started like jamming on one of the kits and playing. And uh, Icky, the owner, came up to me and asked me if I had a cymbal deal. Um, I said, no, it's uh, kind of why I'm here actually. He said, are you playing with anyone? And I happened to be playing with an artist uh, at the Hilton Hotel that night. So he says, hey, take, you know, whatever symbols you want, you know, play them at the show and let me know what you think. So like right off the bat, I was like, wow, you know, the artist relationship, you know, is, is there. So that's really awesome. So played the symbols, you know, had a great show and was hooked ever since. I started playing the custom Brilliant cymbals. Um, at the time, it had a nice bright sound that worked well with what I was playing. Later on, I kind of evolved into a little bit of a darker sound, a little more of a drier sound, um, some explosive, you know, bigger sounding cymbals. The Gospel Series 19-inch um, Crash, I love. Um, I have a custom Brilliant China that is wonderful for the Life of Agony sound. Um, I, have a, I have the 15 extreme hi-hats that have a nice crisp sound to it, which I love. So I kind of mix and match the cymbals, which whatever works for the sound that I'm going for. My advice to the young drumming community would be to, number one, work on your craft as much as possible. Um, number two, just create relationships, respect people, respect yourself. Um, just keep things real, keep things true. Uh, actually, 90% of the gigs and the work that I've gotten were through word of mouth and relationships, believe it or not, and the other 10% was through auditions. So. You know, that right there kind of tells you, you know, relationships, be part of a community, network, meet people, and just have fun. Mm -hmm. 